Hi everyone, today I'm going to make a video to show you how to draw this chair that is showing on your screen at the moment. So it's not a difficult thing to do, but you have to have a few, well, basic knowledge of AutoCAD 2D to draw this in 3D. So for, for to start with, we're going to draw this in a 2D drawing. So I'm going to go to my top view, just rotate it to the correct side. And I'm going to start with drawing the feet of the chair. So I'm going to make the thickness of one of my feet, I'm going to make it 80 by 80. So I'm going to start with making the first foot 80. I'm going to make the height of the foot 600. So it's going to be the front. And just complete the rectangle. So I want my chair to be 600 deep in total. So I'm going to start with the outside and I'm going to, oh, let's make it 500. I'll make the seat 600. So 500 deep. Now I'm going to start with the back foot of the chair or the leg. And I'm going to make it a height of 1.3 meters. I'm going to type in 1,300 millimeters. And then I'm going to complete, complete the square with 80, 80, 0. I'm just going to complete the square. So as it stands at the moment, this is not going to have this bend that you can see on the example chair that I've drawn. So to get that effect, I'm going to go into spine. I'm going to choose a spine. The important thing is to select the points that are important on this chair. So in this instance, the foot, the bottom of the foot is important where it connects to the support and the top is going to be important. So those are the only three factors or only three points on this chair that is important. So I'm going to just select anywhere I want. And now I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to offset this with 80. So the thickness of the chair or the back leg is going to stay 80. I'm just going to fill it this corner so we know that everything comes together. And as you can see in this example that I've drawn, it has a, a round top on the top of the leg. So to get that effect, you have to put in a circle but the circle the problem with the circle is it doesn't have a center point here yes you can draw in a line but there's an easier way you can select the circle command then type in 2p enter and it's going to ask you for two points to draw the circle now you can trim that circle and there you have a nicely shaped back leg for your chair so this red portion here, this is the support or connecting the legs to each other. I'm going to make it a thickness of 100. So I'm going to copy this line down. CO enter, copy it down with 100. I'm going to trim off the extra piece of line. So there you have one side of the chair. Just trim that as well. So the thickness of this leg, I'm going to make it 80 by 80. So you can use a press pull function to get your chair, the leg 80. And the back one as well. I just want to show you an important thing with the press pull function. If the whole island that you want to press pull or extrude is not in the window, the press pull function is not going to work. As you can see, it will select this island, but it won't select that one because it's not all in one screen. So if I move the drawing up and I select the press pull function again, then you can select that island that it wants to extrude. So for the support, I'm going to make it two millimeters or 20 millimeters thick. So it's two centimeters. 
20. So there you have one side of the chair already drawn. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And I'm going to move it up to the drawing surface. And I'm going to move it over so I can use this as a reference. I'll show you what I mean now. So I want the width of my chair to be 500. So the total width should be 500. Or let's make it, no, let's make it 600. So I'm going to add an extra 100 to that line. I'm going to use the mirror function. You can use the 2D mirror function. It's under modify, mirror, select that middle point, select to keep both sides, and delete that line. So now I want to put in a cross brace as well. But the one, uh, the support I drew here, it doesn't have a straight edge here because it went with the rotation or with the spine of the back leg. So what you can do is you can draw a new block or you can just cut this one or slice this one so that it is square again. It's always quicker to use what you've drawn already than to draw something new. So I'm going to rotate 90 degrees. I'm going to move this into place. Now you can use the press pull function to make it as long as it needs to be. And this can be any size that you choose. And then I'm going to copy this one back. I'm going to use the bottom corner there and the bottom here because this is not a straight line. As you can see, from the bottom corner there to the top corner here, yeah, there is a spine or a bend. So to compensate or to bend with the back leg. So I'm just going to make it the same length. Now you can copy this. I've uh, seen it, it made it too long. So to remedy that, I'm just going to cut or slice that piece. And remove the extra piece. So you can copy this to make an extra support in the middle. You can copy it to the base point. You can use that center point to this center point. So then you have extra support as well. Now to draw the cushion. So first it needs a piece of wood to, to mount the cushion on. So to get that piece of wood, I'm going to use, I'm going to use this corner as a starting point. Okay, so now we have that block drawn so I'm going to select the block I'm going to if you want to deselect anything you've selected you hold down the shift key and click on whatever you want to deselect so I'm going to move this to the drawing plane use this as a reference so I'm going to make the thickness of the support plank I'm going to make it 15 millimeters and the height of the cushion is going to be extra let's say 30 so in total, I'm going to make this 45 high. So to get that cushion look or effect, you're going to use the fillet edge. And I'm going to make the radius. I'm going to make it 30. Now you select the edges. Just select, click enter to accept. 
Now you can move this up in place. So as you can see, there's a nice fitting cushion on the frame, but I want mine to have a little bit of a hangover. So it should hang over all the support. So to do that, I'm just going to scale my cushion up a bit. So I'm going to select the cushion, go home, scale, and I'm going to use the support plank as a base point. That middle there. Let's rotate to see if it's the right one. I'm going to use that and I'm going to make it 10% bigger. So I'm going to scale it by a factor of 1.1. So now everything is 10% bigger and there's a hangover of the cushion. So the only thing that is left to draw is this back support. So to do that, I'm going to go into 2D again. I'm going to move this back leg up or over and I'm going to draw the length or the size of the support that I want then I'm going to draw the width of the support so you continue you're going to use the drawing that you have a lot to reference from size and everything you need you're going to do it in 2D because that makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to rotate this so that it's parallel with the other line. But first I'm going to make a copy because I want to keep that angle at what I've drawn it. So I'm going to rotate this so that it's in line with the bottom line or the width that I've specified. Then I'm going to rotate it again to get the height of the back support. And then move it over. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle from the center of that line. And I'm going to trim the circle. TR, enter. Now to get that support just as you want it, you can just move up the center so you can make it as deep as you want or as shallow as you want so i'm going to keep it there just for this example delete now i want to make the thickness of this support i'm going to make it two centimeters as well or 20 millimeters so i'm going to select offset type in 20 enter offset that so I know the back legs are both flat surfaces. So I'm going to draw a line, makes it flat. So I'm going to extend this arch with E. Or it's just E. No. Oh, it's EX. Enter. It's for extend. And it's going to extend it to the closest line to you. Or to the point where you sit. click. I'm going to press pull the back to the specified height. That's why I left that line there. I'm going to rotate it over. I'm going to move it up to where that first line is that I drew. Then I'm going to rotate this as well, but I'm going to select that point to rotate around. And select the angle that I wanted. I'm going to move it up to the middle. Now to get this onto the chair, I'm going to select that as a base point. I'm going to rotate again. Okay. So then you have this that you want to move. So I'm going to select that and click move. Or type M enter to go into the move command, select that point and move it over. So as you can see, out of the 2D drawings that I made the whole time, we've created this 
3D chair. So what's left to do is you can delete all the reference lines and the drawing that you made in 2D. You can delete that. And now you can color the chair any color that you want. And the easiest way I found to do it is to select anything. Type in PR enter and change the color to whatever you want it. So if you want this chair to look a bit more like a real chair, you can chamfer the edges with 3D chamfer. Or you can make, as you can see, I made a chamfer on the bottom of the foot or the leg. And I've also also fill it the edges so thank you so much for watching i hope this helped you bye bye